Field, and I'm going to be your host this evening. I'll explain a little bit what um, Pechakucha, or correctly pronounced apparently Pechachka, is all about. Okay? It's a form of presentation uh, designed by two um, designers from um, uh, Britain who were in Tokyo. They were tired of what is known as death by PowerPoint. <laughs> Maybe some of you have experienced this before. Too many slides, too much text, boring slides. And what they came up with was a form of presentation called a pichachka, uh, based on the Japanese word for chit-chat. And the principle is very simple. The speaker is allowed 20 slides. Each slide is set on a timer to advance 20 seconds. I'm doing one now and I can't control the timer, okay? So it's going as I speak, okay? And it's been spreading around the world of design and architecture, there are many conferences in all these places, 80 countries, 235 cities, and we've started it at ELT conferences. I did the first one at Ayatafel Exeter in 2007, and all those other ones that you saw there. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Pachachka, the real Pachachkas, and I've been to one, um, is often designers sharing their ideas, sharing their crazy ideas. There's a whole bunch of them that come together and uh, share things like strange furniture or inventions. Um, and I'm going to talk about my other passion than writing, which is I want to be a designer and an inventor. And I'm talking about technological inventions teachers already have. Now we know about IWBs, Moodle, all these things, but what I'm interested in is <laughs> what I am very interested in are te technical inventions that I think teachers really want. And I've been developing with a team of scientists and uh, experts a series of inventions to meet the real problems that I think teachers uh, face here, okay? So here is a summary of them, and I'm going to go through some of the problems and the things that I'm working on with my team. Uh, one of the major problems for teachers, especially in state school systems, is of course discipline and classroom management. Um, a Moodle and an interactive whiteboard won't go very far in helping you uh, to solve this problem. So what I think is needed is a little, very simple device that I've called Mute. <laughs> Mute is uh, very simple. You just press that button and point it at a class. <laughs> and it's silence. And you could have, I want to put an individual mute on it as well, so I could just silence one particularly annoying student. And then I could take them off mute again. So if I need to give my instructions, I just press mute. That's my first invention. The other problem that teachers are facing more and more, uh, a cause of burnout, is um, increased paperwork and administrative burden on teachers. This is a growing problem. Is it a problem for you? Yes. yes, well, that's all our participation you'll get, because I have to continue speaking now. Um, my invention is uh, something called Exam Ease. Now, this is a neat little software program that comes with something that looks like a printer. And you take all your exams, and you place it on top of the printer, and then you go off and do something else. When you come back, the printer has scanned and corrected and left personal comments on all of the exams. Whoa. Interesting? Interesting? A sister program is called Report Ease. That's to write in the jargon of your school or in whatever, or the business you're working at, all your reports in perfect, whatever, in multiple languages. So you could have bilingual reports written for you. Again, just on this simple little machine. So those, those two things that we're working on. Uh, another problem, how many of you um, have to travel quite far distances to work? Yes, don't talk too much. Um, okay, so <laughs> traveling to and from work is a big problem, especially if you're teaching a, free, a freelance teacher in a big city like Paris. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Teacherport. <laughs> Teacherport is uh, going to be established like the Velib things and sort of uh, just for teachers, you get in one and it teleports you to where your next class is, okay? <laughs> This is taking a little bit longer to develop, but my people assure me that it is coming, okay? Uh, the other one problem that we don't like to say is that some days you just can't face them, okay? You just can't bear going to class. You need another, this is what days off were made for and holidays are made for and all those special days. Um, and uh, I have the solution for this. Again, this is a very complex uh, invention we're working on. It's called Surrogate Teach. Surrogate Teach creates a virtual you 
Your students will not know the difference and neither will your colleagues. You just send in your surrogate teach and they do the class for you. Those are for the days when you need an extra break. And so, you see in our labs, we're building surrogate teach. Okay, anyway, the other thing that we, uh, not problems, but a desire that many teachers have is, of course, for happy, successful students. We want our students to do well. We want our students uh, to succeed um, so they move on up and they're not failing and always coming back to our classes again. Um, so, uh, this invention here, this is because someone said, the problem with your mute thing is that my students are always mute. I need the opposite. And I thought we can do that. We have a button called speak. For, we just point it at the pairs and the pair work and they'll, they'll um, speak English um, and give us material to correct. The other thing is that exams, we want students to do well in exams. Uh, and uh, I've developed this little box here um, which emits uh, radio waves which allow students to relax during exams and think clearly and get better, more correct right answers. It's called pure genius. Okay, you just turn that on at the back of the room. Anyway, all of these ideas require money, um, and money does not grow on trees, and so I will be happily accepting donations from you. At the end of the thing, you can leave it in a bucket in the corner. Thank you very much for listening. Those are my inventions.